I'm Ron Park down working on the Smart Wood Shop. A lot of production going on here. I am making the bases for the 28 drawers. So this is a process that I'm doing 28 times. They're all identical at this phase. In the next phase, when I start building the uh, sides in the back and the front, I'll be going to eight drawers of three inch and uh, uh, 20 drawers of the taller, about seven inch. And so the first process was to run these through the table saw, starting with setting up to do the, the uh, dados on the sides so that I had three eighths of an inch left over. And then the rabbits uh, on the front and the backs that are flush, they're the same width, but obviously this one's an open, making it a rabbit. And I did that on the table saw with the dado blade. So I've got a really nice fit by adjusting the dado with the magnetic shims. These fit in perfectly. And they're not super tight. There's just a tiny bit of a gap, but not enough to make a difference in size or spacing just to help me for assembly. But this will be a great glue channel and help me line everything up. If I tried to just do the, uh, the bottoms without the dados and the rabbits, it would be a lot harder for assembly. This will make it stronger, but the time I spent doing the dados will be more than made up in the assembly. It'll speed assembly up quite a bit. And now what I'm doing is 28 times I'm going through and cutting these front notches. This is the new design I have for the passive lock system. And I just simply made a jig and this jig has the cutout for it. So it's a 16th of an inch wider and a 16th of an inch longer than I actually want. And that is so that the quarter inch cutter I'm using with the pattern guide, that will reduce the cut by a 16th and give me exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm just using my small handheld router. All I have to do is clamp it in the middle and hold it still. It's a quick process. I'll be able to go through all of these in about 10 minutes and it's giving me an excellent cut. I think I may, I've got to do another jig so that um, I can cut out the handles and I may just double down and do that right here uh, using this top as my offset. So I'll just make the hole so it's uh, about a half an inch or three quarters down centered on here and I'll just put a center mark and I'll be able to just center it on each piece, clamp it, and make the cut. Instead of having a second one about this size, it'll reduce the space that my uh, uh, jigs, and I'm gonna hang on to these jigs, uh, take. So we're in the production phase. I will, again, get these all done in probably another 10, 15 minutes, and then it'll be time to start making the sides and the uh, fronts and backs. I'll do the eight three-inch ones first, cut the handles out, get those all done, assembled and stuck in the trailer. And then I'll do the 20. I'll do that just to get some space on the bench. And also I like to have some production that I could see. So when I slide the, if I did the 20 first, it'd take longer before I was able to slide them in. So I'll knock out the smaller section and then go to, to the bigger ones. If you've been following along, you know that this is all being documented on video and I will be producing a complete series of building the smart wood shop from beginning to end to loading the trailer and giving you a tour if you want to make sure that you follow along both with these daily drop-ins as well as the full series coming then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell so you'll be notified whenever i put up a video also if you want a set of workbench plans or awesome rolling toolbox plans, you can click on the link right here in the video. And remember, it's real easy. It doesn't cost you anything. Give me a thumbs up. And if you can't do it, give me a thumbs down. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.